Dom from Jordan Skaggs. It's cool. Keep it up. Want to hear from where everybody's at. Glad you're enjoying yourselves and your weekend. Here's our lineup of Pro Buggies making their way, making their way out here to uh, their warm-up lap. Checking out the, where the water for the first couple laps might be in the standing condition, might be a little wet, maybe greasy. But they'll be going green flag racing next time by. We got Ezra Everts and Lorenzo Bonacci in the front row. Ezra uh, in the pole. The 33 of Bonacci on the outside. Row two inside, Zach Drapkin, the number one outside him. Gunnar Kennedy in the 82. Row three inside, Mike Scafudo in the number three. And Jaden Uribe in the 31. And rounding out the field, seven cars, the 90 of Steve Arlia. You know, I used to, uh, we talk about this all the time, open wheel racing. Um, and for me, this is the hardest car, hardest vehicle to race in short course off-road racing. Oh, absolutely. But the squirrely is, too. The, I mean, you think about it. I always compare it to uh, rubbing your tummy and tapping your head. And then, and then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, throw in your feet tapping at a different beat. Because they're in there steering, steering brake with one hand, shifting with the other hand, with it, both hands in the steering wheel, you got one button for your mud buncher, one button to talk to your driver, and and you're ah, I'm lost. I mean, I, oh my gosh, how do they do it? I know that's crazy. I was talking to Mike Brister about it, and he was telling me they don't use cutting brakes much anymore. But on this type of track, I can't see how you can't use it. Yeah, when it's greasy, you gotta use it. Yeah, I just don't know, especially a tight track like this. Yeah, it looks like the Bonacci. Yep, the bomber. Outside of row one, gets up front. And is that Drapkin in second? Goes down to the inside. Yeah. Drapkin up in a second, but here comes Everts. And just like that, that's when you need the turning yeah. crank. Oh, your Uribe goes around just a little bit. When Everts got over rotated you could tap that turning brake and bring it back around because it locks up just one tire not the other and it depends on forward or back which one you lock up right or the left and the thing is i learned early on i used to think they would just lay on the brake going into the corner uh, one way or the other no it's a tap 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 yeah. tap 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 kind of you thing. lock it up you'll loop it i found that out the hard way So Bonacci, you know, we said this a, you know, quite a few times over the years here. Bonacci, Drapkin, Everson Kennedy, as Kennedy over rotates. Bonacci, Drapkin, and Everts. This is cool. We got Pam Baker Chandler checking in from, I want to say Claremore. Yep, Claremore, Oklahoma. She's getting ready to watch Kanan coming out here. Big family. The Bakers. That's really cool. Oh, big, big family. Wow. And I wouldn't doubt when I, I don't think it's a stretch when I got to say that, that Kanan's dad, JD, has probably got the biggest pool complex in the county. <laughs> it's just, it's a couple trees and bushes away from uh, <laughs> the Playboy Mansion. I mean, it's that huge and caves and Brados. slides and all that stuff. Yeah, it's really, really cool. pretty. This neighbor now to go hang out at the pool. No, it's a little bit of a drive, but I'm waiting for the invitation because I'll, I'll probably be halfway there before he's done inviting me. Does he have the private zoo like the Playboy Mansion used to? No, but my neighbor does. <laughs> my immediate neighbor, yeah. All right, coming out, turn number three, Bonacci. Slides Whoa! into the top. Drapkin pinches, gets pinched off, has to get on the binders. Oh yeah, that was a hell of a job by Drapkin. Not oh. getting into the back. There it is. Inside move. Bonacci opened the door. But somehow was able to drive down a little bit. And Drapkin had to check up. I'm telling you, I think Drapkin's the car to beat right now. Drapkin's able to drill, reel him in. And somehow...
Benash is able to block a pass. Drafton has to check up, and then he has to regroup and make another run at him. We're a few laps yet away from the competition yell, and there he is. Well, somebody's not running 100%. Oh, no. I want to say Bonacci's not 100%, I Man, think. A cylinder. It sounds so Couldn't tell. You caught it, too? Yeah. Well, I'm going to guess it's draft. I'm um, sorry. Yeah, um, Bonacci. Like Duke's old pro form. Oh. <laughs> wow, it might be draft. I don't know. I can't tell. Man, that's crazy. If he's only running on three cylinders, which is what it sounds like, how is he standing in front of Drapkin? That's a good question. Listen to that. Unless Drapkin is hurt too. I can't figure out. It sounds like Bonacci. Yeah. I mean, he's got to figure out a way to get around Bonacci real quick. Otherwise, something Sounds fine now. No. Oh, there it is. No. Man. Yeah. No, no. Sounds like duck season. Draft has got to get around him quickly because we got, what, eight laps remaining. And all he's doing right now is running so close. The inside of that car is getting just full of snot. And I would venture to bet that he's damn near out of tear-offs. Yeah, I'm going to say it's been bad. Which tells me, if Drapkin can't get around that, Drapkin's got to have issues. Yeah. There was the hole that Drapkin needed. On the inside, can he take advantage now going to turn one? No. Still not quite close enough. So it's Bonacci still running up front. Drapkin's second. Everton third. Right at the competition, yellow. Gunnar Kennedy at four spot. Jaden Uribe, top five. Scafudo and Arlia. Running sixth and seventh, but that's crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out uh, who exactly is it. Bonacci was a trapkin and making the noise there. And to me, I'm just watching the performance, and I'm thinking it's Bonacci. He's just talking the track good enough that uh, can't make. The but pass. if it's Bonacci, and maybe he's not running a three cylinder. If he's not running a three cylinders, he's down on power anyways. Even if it's four, could it be an exhaust leak too? Like that would, would be more of a ticking sound. Well, yeah, that's true. Not if it blows out the entire manifold gasket there, too. But the well, then we'd side. be seeing all kinds of smoke. Yeah. Speculations. That's what's fun. Yep. The thing is, we're always wrong. <laughs> no matter what, we're always wrong. Hey, we're batting 500 somewhere. No. What reality, I don't know. No. <laughs> whose reality are you talking about? That's what I said. Depending on whose reality you're talking about. Yeah, but Drapkin's got to get around like right now because look at that front of that car, just caked with mud. Now it doesn't sound like Bonacci. The, the sound is there, but now I almost have to think it's Everts. Somebody out there is sick in our top three. Whether it's whether it's Bonacci or, or Drapkin. You know what? I think it's Drapkin. I'm going to say whatever it is, those two drivers are doing a hell of a job keeping that car up front. Well, there we go. In a turn one, Drapkin goes inside. Bonacci pitches that car. Yeah, out of the turn. Drapkin now has the lead. That was set up perfectly. Yeah. That and was set up Eberts. in the final turn for Drapkin going into turn one. It took him that long to get there and to make it happen. It's Drapkin. Drapkin sounds Drapkin. like a he's the one that sounds like a John Deere tractor. And the incredible thing that it's still running like crazy. Maybe he's running oh, low on. Oh wait a minute, Bonacci now going backwards. Looks like is that the left rear flat tire? Got something going on. Kennedy's gonna go by. That is Bonacci. There's the white smoke. 
that's an exhaust manifold pop. I still think that sound is Drabkin. See? Yeah. It is. There'll be three laps remaining this time by, but is he running low on red line oil? <laughs> well, the Bonacci's got a uh, left rear flat at this point. So it's definitely trying to make this thing go, uh, still go. It's going to pull into the hot pits. And he's smoking. They're smoking out of his car. There's three laps remaining this time by. Three laps. They pull in and put a little red line oil in there. And the smoke is getting a little bit more and a little bit more. And it's yeah. not steam either. It is engine smoke. And we've got a dust cloud coming in our direction. Just That was when Nachi just went running right up into the hot pits, hit that patch of loose, loamy dirt. I don't even know if he's shifting. Is he leaving one gear all the way around? That's what it sounded like to me. I mean, there's not a point in any on any lap where these cars should sound like a John Deere tractor. No. I mean, they should sound like a ticked-off bumblebee. I think that thing sounds more like an old international. Two laps remaining. Two laps remaining for Zach Drapkin. Can he nurse it around? That car is still smoking. Just stay smoking. Just keep it going. Don't stop smoking. It's getting worse, too. What in the heck is going on here? How is that car not down on power? How is our second and third not... It's just an exhaust leak. It don't matter. He's down on power. Well, I know, but it's and not And look gonna, who's chasing him. Everton like Arriba. Three cylinders. These things are so close. White flag has been waving. And in fact, Drapkin's been pulling away from Everton Arriba. That's amazing. I can't believe this. The thing sounds like it's duck season out he there. He needs tonight, if he pulls this off, he needs to go across the street to the Indian Casino, buy lottery tickets for yes. everybody, but mostly Throw for him. dollars in the slot machines. Oh, man. We're talking half the, more than half the race. I know. Because this, this started before the comp yellow. Checkered flags in hand. How about that? One majorly hurt car. Zach Drapkin will take the win. Everts will hang on. And big time rollover. Man. By Jaden Aribe. Didn't catch what happened, but I saw the last half, and he was well up in the air. So the, the safety crew's already there. Fire extinguishers are out, and have, the hap have that happen. After the checkered flag, the race is done. They're slowing down, and they make contact. He and Ezra Eberts going into turn one. And you know what? The, the force of slowing down, the G-force of slowing down, probably didn't help matters any when they made, did make contact. So right now we're watching inside of turn one where the instant site is. Oh, for the, for the fans at home, well, I want you to stay tuned into the into your monitors because I think we found a, or able to bring you a replay for all the fans watching us at home. I want to thank you once again for tuning in and watching round six of the Great American Short Course here at Wild Horse Pass. And it should be coming up. There it is. Oh, yeah. It's almost as if Everts didn't know he was there. I mean, he was slowing down. And it kind of drifted out a little bit to the outside. And it, it, that's open wheel racing. That's what happened. His uh, right rear touched Iribe's left front. And he drove the car off the track. How about that? Yep, still sounds like a John Deere. <laughs> 
So Zach Trapp controls out of that car. How about a big high five and applause for that young man right there. It's always a great, great interview, but to make that car last that entire race, I don't know how you did it, don't know what's wrong with that car. I was guessing you were running out of Redline oil. Hell, I didn't know. But right now, all our attention is inside of turn number one and hoping like heck that Jake, uh, Jaden Arebe is A-OK. -okay. They're still working on him. I'm not sure. Haven't got reports yet from anybody that uh, he's out of the car yet or not. Well, fans, I'm getting reports right now that Jaden did walk into the back of the ambulance under his own power. He's obviously being checked out right now, but just the fact that uh, he walked over under his own power and crawled in the back of that ambulance, that's uh, a very, very, oh boy, very good sign. So, tell you what, depending upon where that ambulance goes, or the direction it, I know firsthand, don't ask me how, but I know firsthand if he comes close enough in front of us, uh, they can hear, he can hear the applause from our fans here. Hopefully, uh, yeah, the fact that they're not driving off the track right away is another good sign. Check, check, check. All right, let's go ahead and uh, move on here to Ezra Everett. Whoop. Hey guys, hey, hey Dave, hang on a second. Dave, hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ambulance is driving in front of us, how about a big round of applause and wishing that young man that he's going to be okay. okay. I can guarantee that he can hear the applause inside that ambulance. How about it? Where's Barry? Get Barry. Okay, Dave, I'm sorry. All right, no worries. Well, Jaden's going to be supposed to be third, so unfortunately he's not going to make it, but he's going to get third. We'll get his trophy to him. I'm glad he's okay. We're going to go with Ezra Edwards, and uh, man, what a crazy battle that was going on there. You, Bonacci, Tra Trapkin were just going at it. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. Uh, Lorenzo and Zach, they're the top of the class right now, and uh, uh, it's cool to be able to run with them. Uh, they're super fast, and uh, yeah, it was just, my goal is to run good, consistent laps, and that's what, what I uh, was able to accomplish, and uh, uh, Lorenzo unfortunately got a flat, and I was able to get by him then. But, but yeah, it was cool to battle with these guys. These are these guys are my closest homies, and it's just fun. It's a little tough in this class since it is open wheels to really pass. It's a little bit narrow in some areas. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's a little dangerous passing these open wheel cars. Um, touching tires, it ends up bad. Unfortunately, a good friend of mine, Jaden, uh, took a little tumble. Uh, hope he's all right. Looks like he is. So. Um, but, yeah, never never wish that on anyone. Well, Ezra, you got a lot of great people behind you. I know you want to give them some love. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank my family, my mom and dad. Dad gave up the seat for me. He's usually the driver of the, the old number seven. But, uh, yeah, my uncle's a big part of our program. Uh, my Uncle Danny with Epco Off-Road, all the cool carbon fiber on mine, Zach's, a uh, few on Lorenzo's. Uh, so getting around to all the competitors, making them faster, a little lighter. But um, my uncle Darren with uh, ZLT Motorsports Graphics um, and Trust, Trust Manufacturing in Northern and Southern California. Uh, new to our program, Fuel Factory. Good, good uh, consistent fuel that gets us to run uh, with the top guys. So, yeah, I can't thank everyone enough. Good up this young man right there, Ezra Everts, everybody. with a great job. Gonna go ahead and move it over here to Zach Drabkin. Well, gonna start you out with $100 there and then another gift card from Sparco. Looking good in the Sparco suit. Gotta make that. Might do some upgrades there for next year for you. So let's talk about this. The 800 pound gorilla in the room. The sounds. We couldn't figure out who it was. We decided it was duck season out there. And all of a sudden, but he's not, nobody's losing power. So who is it? Finally, you get the pass and we see it's you. What was it? 
Oh, realistically, um, our third header, or the third piston, the header is completely gone off the motor, so it sounded like a tractor, and I knew right away because we lost all bottom end torque. I pretty much dropped one gear completely in every corner to get the thing to motor through the corner, and I knew that I wanted to get back up here, and I wanted a good battle, and I just knew that right now, Lorenzo and Ezra, the whole field right now is up their game, and it showed in qualifying because we weren't top of the top qualifying both days, and that really... Kind of hurt the ego a little bit, but these guys come out here and are just putting on a great race. I love battling with them. Like I said, luckily no one, not, not much contact across the field, but I'm just glad I get to run with this whole field, and everybody here is so respectful and just awesome to run with. Well, you got so many great people behind you. I do. First off, I do want to pray for Jaden. I saw, or I didn't see what happened, but him getting an ambulance, it's, this is really a family class. Everybody here is super tight, and to see one of our drivers get driven away in an ambulance, it really hurts because I'm hoping he's okay and we can get him back on the track tomorrow. Realistically, his health more important, so I'm praying that Jaden's okay, but my sponsors that do back me, I want to first off give a big shout out to Lee Perfect for bringing us back out to Arizona. This facility is awesome. Thanks to all the fans out here. This is awesome. Um, Redline Oil, Signature Propellers, Winter Motorsports, Sign Pros, Competitive Edge Performance, Race Glass, Jader Power Media, Skydive Elsinore, all the fans that are out here. Epco gave me a carbon body that looks dialed. So we're out here repping everybody. And big shout out to Redline because the car's never gone over 185. 220 was a little scary, but I knew I could trust it. So we built the best, the best fluids in the game. So I'm just stoked to be out here. And Scott, I'll give you a, you got a chug? All right, there it is. <laughs> Zach Jabkin once again on top of the box, but at our uh, best thoughts, of course, with Jane Manchester, of course, in third place, as Roberts, and of course, on top of the box, Zach Jabkin. Scott, back to you in the box. Thanks a lot, Dave. And Zach, it's only taken you a year. <laughs> so, uh, 